Welcome back. In a previous video, we looked at user definable fields in incidents and also in opportunities. This video will be very quick because these are so easy to set up, but let's go to CRM setup and have a look at those types of things. Uh, before we even talk about those, I also think it's important to reiterate the idea that you can have titles that are specific to your culture. So the database comes with Dr. Miss, Mr. Mrs. Ms. But uh, in various languages and cultures, they have their own sets of titles. So for contacts, you can define your own title list with whatever your needs are. Um, OK, there are uh, four different elements that we can define to a, an incident uh, besides a characteristic. Uh, the first one is category. And you'll notice that I have a list of categories. Maybe I'm going to click New, and I'll put uh, X tuple in here. And maybe the order on that will be 95. That will put it near the bottom of the list. In other words, this controls the drop-down list of categories. So rather than being alphabetical, you can control the um, uh, the the sequencing on the drop down list of incident categories. Uh, in addition, if you have Xtuple Connect, you can link this particular incident category back to an email delivery profile. Why is that important? Uh, that's important as I'm about to show you. Um, let me get this spelled right. There's an incident category here called Dunning or Customer Collections. And it is possible then to create a very nice email delivery profile just for com customer collections and then configure the AR module to point to this incident category for uh, customer collections. What happens then is it generates a very nice form email letter. Well, it can be as nice as you want it to be because you can define that EDI profile to your, uh, to your own liking. Uh, but it will attach the underlying invoice that's been linked to the incident and email it to the uh, email it to the customer. Okay, so incident categories. Uh, I would set up my list of inf incident priorities not zero, one, two, three, four, but probably 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, because at some point you may want another set uh, uh, want to insert uh, additional priorities. Um, along the way. Uh, please note that the other advantage to this ordering would be if different parts of the business were using the, the incident tracker to manage maybe uh, vendor issues versus customer issues versus engineering issues, all of which were tracked through incidents. It may be that each one of those subsets have their own set of priorities. Uh, so you could have the 10 series related to engineering, the 30 series of order uh, related to suppliers, and the 50 series related to customers, as an example. And that way, the drop-down list will keep all of the associated priorities, perhaps, uh, together. Uh, there's also incident resolutions. Again, I would use a different um, ordering uh, technique than 0, 1, 2, 3. But these would be the resolution, this would be the list of resolutions that you can link back to your um, incident. And then finally, the incident severities. Uh, again, this would be your list of severities, and you can control the ordering. I think you've got the idea at this point. Uh, for opportunities, we had the idea of source, stage, and type. And sure enough, if I open these up, I've got a name and a description for each one of these. So that's your list of uh, opportunity sources, stages, and types. Now, there's one little distinction here with opportunity stage, and that is that you can have um, an opportunity stage that says mark this opportunity as inactive at this stage. So if you close uh, an opportunity stage, maybe it's win and maybe it's lose. Um, or win and reason you won, lo lost and reason you lost. Uh, but it may be that at that point, you would like the opportunity to auto um, go auto inactive. You can do that by checking the checkbox, mark opportunity inactive at 
this stage. Uh, additionally, we've got types. Again, that's just a name and a description, but that it allows you to filter your list of opportunities uh, by types. Uh, and then the last one was uh, characteristics, which we've covered in other modules, and it works basically the same uh, way as you've seen in other modules. Okay, great. Thanks again for joining.